Hello and welcome to Running on Empty. I'm your host and today we're going to be looking at something very special. Now I had a very interesting experience acquiring this famed delicious item. I had to bike many miles, many many miles. It took quite a long time all the way to the KFC and Taco Bell and once I got there I parked my bike I dug around in my backpack, I took a sip of water um, from my water bottle, and I then, you know, cautiously walked around the perimeter of the building because I wasn't exactly sure how to get in. And I found these two doors, and everything looked eerie inside because most of the lights were off, and the lights that were on were dimmed down very low. So it was very eerie, very scary, it would scare anybody. And I did not know what to do, but I peeped in and I saw some Taco Bell KFC workers inside and they're all masked up. And it looks like they're like robbing the place. Like they got stuff, they're, they're just all cuddled in there in this little dark corner of the kitchen. And I say, well, there's people in there, so I better just go walk in. So I walk to the doors. There's two doors on the on the side of this little like vestibule that you go walk into to go into the building. And I open one and it's locked. And I go around to the other and it's locked. And this woman comes out and she opens the door and she's like, "Our lobby is closed. You can't eat here. You have to go through the drive-through." Now, I look around and I notice I have no car and I have no license. I'm not able to drive a car through the drive-through. So I look at my bike and I say, "Should I walk?" through the drive-thru? Should I bike through the drive-thru? She says, yes, you can walk or you can bike through the drive-thru. Now, this is something that would be an interesting experience for anybody. Walking through a drive-thru is something I've never done before. You're never supposed to do it because apparently it's not something that's allowed, but now it is. So that's what I had to do. I walked through the drive-thru to the little place, like the microphone place with all the menus, and I and I started speaking to the thing. I said, excuse me, excuse me. I turn around, there's cars behind me. I, I look like the idiot here, and I'm, I'm yelling into the, into the box, the trash can looking thing, and uh, nobody says anything. So I look around, there's cars behind me, there's like a few Karens, you know, sitting in the driver's seat looking kind of angry, so I run away. And I stand on the sidewalk and watch them order. Now I'm getting confused because the woman who takes their orders at the drive-thru uh, is right on when they are pulling up. Why it worked for me? So I, I decided, you know, it was probably just a flaw. They probably just weren't paying attention. So I waited about five or ten minutes till there was a spot open for me. And I walk around and I say, like, excuse me, excuse me. Nobody there. And I wait, 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 wait. Another car comes in behind me. Now I'm looking like the idiot. There's this weird little kid standing at a drive through with a lot of money in his hand. So I say, oh boy, it looks like I'm not going to be able to make a video today. But I see that the window is open and there's somebody at the window. And I say, you know what? I'm just going to run up to the window. So I, so I uh, go in and I, you know, when, the, when, when I'm, there's an open spot for me, I go into the window and I say, hi, I, I couldn't order through there. Um, I wasn't able to get a hold of anybody. And she says, oh yeah, that's a motion detector thing. So obviously since I'm not a car, uh, it didn't detect me and it didn't alert them that there was somebody there. Because I looked around and there wasn't a camera. Or at least I didn't see a camera. It wasn't obvious because I'm certain people wouldn't really want them videotaping them. That seems a little bit strange, a little bit devious, you might say. So it made sense. But... I was still I was still getting hungry as as they would say I was running on empty and I had just biked many miles to come here so I was not leaving empty handed so I said I would like the famed burrito supreme from Taco Bell she said all right all right it'll be I think it was like 3.49 um so uh she quick put up my she got my burrito supreme I got my change back and then I uh, put everything in my backpack and ran home. So now we get to the most important part of the day. The Burrito Supreme. So here's my Burrito Supreme. I can put the camera down a little bit. Here we go. We have my uh, receipt. Uh, I, I, I paid three forty seven for it. I'm sorry. And reach in. Ah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The burrito supreme. 
it says right right there burrito supreme we can put the bag aside for now i'm gonna keep the plate there and uh i'm put this down a little bit we're gonna unwrap it so hi here we go And to be, to, just to make something clear, I've never had a Burrito Supreme before. It was on, like, the favorites menu, so I decided it's worth a shot. I was thinking about getting the Doritos Locos um, that comes, like, there's, uh, the shells are made out of Doritos. Looked amazing. However, I didn't, didn't want to bike home with crunchy tacos in my backpack, so I decided to go with one big burrito. And this is the one that looked the best. So here we go. Here it is. This is the Burrito supreme very chunky burrito it's nice it's nice and firm you can already see some of the yummy goodness in there peeping out of the corner so this really looks nice so um i'm running on empty so i say we give it a shot all right here it goes one more Hmm. Alright, I'm going to quick get a thumbnail photo, so I'm just going uh. to... I think that's good. Alright, first thoughts within my two little bites. First, I'm blown away by the quality of the tortilla. Now, you think Taco Bell, I paid um, around three and a half dollars for this, so it is on the more expensive side of Taco Bell items, but uh, I decided we better go big or go home. And I decided I would go home, but with the big stuff. So I am blown away by the uh, just the quality, the size, the fluffiness, but also the thickness. It's fluffy and thick at the same time. The perfect balance, and I'm blown away by it. Now, my uh, burrito is about room temperature because I biked many, many miles home with it, but I am still blown away by uh you know the, the meat it's it's moist which is nice now i have only gotten a little bit and i really check to see what's in it um but it's uh from what i can tell one of the like fan favorites of from taco bell probably been on the menu for years so it seems very high quality it seems like they've perfected it um something that's a little bit disappointing is uh this is a piece of let me see if i can get it to focus this is a little piece of lettuce that I pulled out, and uh, it's very flimsy. That doesn't look like a very appealing piece of lettuce. I'll eat it anyways because I paid for it. But anyways, you can see what I see right now. Try to get it to focus. Can I get it to... You can see all in there. We got, on one side, lots of tortilla, on the other side, lots of meat. But uh, I figured we'd better keep venturing down into this burrito to figure out exactly what's in it. Hmm. As I've gone deeper into the burrito... I've started to notice that there is some sort of bean sauce in there. It tastes very beany, sort of like, you know, like Mexican, classic Mexican refried beans that you might get elsewhere. Um, I bet you can also get them at Taco Bell, but, you know, um, these, you can, you can really, that, that does come out quite in the middle of the burrito. I think that they did put a strong amount of it in there, and that's not necessarily bad because I am a big fan of refried beans, but um, to some, that might be a bit much, um, so that is something to keep in mind. You know, this is my personal preference, but if you are one that does not like refried beans, um, this burrito might not be the one for you, so uh, it also might not be re refried beans, but that's what it tastes like to me, some sort of bean dish, all right? Let's keep going.
Mm. Now, as we get further, you're starting to see some of the cheese. And the cheese is very nice. I am actually very, very proud of the cheese here. It's, um, I can't really tell what type of cheese it is, but like, you can sort of see like it's white in, in there. It's very nice, and I appreciate it. I think that without cheese, this burrito would be a little bit, a little bit less. Uh, I would be, I would be appreciating it a little bit less. And uh, also, as well as the cheese, you can also see there's more lettuce, and that's actually more crunchy. So the first piece of lettuce I pulled out might not have been the prime example of what's in here. So um, as I keep going down, it's getting better and better. See, this is sort of the consistency of the cheese. Uh, come on. It's on my finger. You can sort of see it's like slime. It's like a little bit slimy. More of like a liquid, like melted cheese. So that's what I would assume it is. Some sort of cheese that is melted to a consistency where it kind of blends with everything else, which is nice. Unfortunately, it seems that some of my burrito is ripping through it down here. So I'm going to have to be extra careful of that. Might even bite a chunk off the end. That's a lot of burrito. It seems like there's also some sour cream in here. Maybe onion, I can't tell them, probably just lettuce, but it's a lot in a burrito. And I would even love this spicy. It doesn't have any heat, really, but I would absolutely love this if it was spicy. As you can hear, numerous contents of the burrito are falling out of it. That's a lot of cheese right there. This is somewhat strange to be eating on camera, but I like it. Towards the bottom, things are getting very wet and uh, saturated, which is nice. It kind of gets soaked up in the tortilla, but it's still contained nicely. I, de I definitely do like that. I think that it's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see... Uh, I'm going to fold it in half and take the rest like that. And I'm getting my hands awfully messy, but that's okay. It's the Burrito Supreme. I, I, I suppose we're not going for the cleanest burrito out there. I really do enjoy this burrito. It's better than I was expecting, to be honest. Taco Bell usually leaves me with horrible stomach ache and sometimes some uh, other stomach problems, you know. And uh, so far, I'm feeling okay with this. Um, to, although it does, it does usually come back to bite you five to six hours later. So uh, I'm recording this at 6:30. So uh, late tonight might be where it starts to get a little bit stirry. Um, <laughs> but I think I'll be okay. And uh, by the time you watch this, probably. I'll be okay. Do not worry about me. I should be fine. Unless I fall out of an attic or something. Um, let's keep... Uh... I've gotten this back to like a Tontino size. Which is kind of cute. Um, I might just start picking things up off of here. And inspecting them just to see what I've got. Now, I've got this cube here. Not, not not on my finger, but this cube sitting right here. I'm a little bit confused as to what it is because it's orange. Oh. I think it's tomato. It's a tomato cube. It's a tomato cube. Pick up more. Cheese, sour cream, lettuce. Good. And same here. <laughs> and time for the Totinos to finish it off. I 
that's really nice. I really do absolutely love this Burrito Supreme. I certainly will get it again if I, um, you know, need to. Now, here's what I want from you guys. Whoever is um, watching this, I want you to comment in the comments what I should try next. Now, this can be from, I'm going to right now limit it from McDonald's, KFC, and Taco Bell. So those three, McDonald's, KFC, and Taco Bell that I will try because those are in biking distance for me. So, my hands are extremely messy so I'm just gonna have to elbow the mouse to stop the video but uh that's completely okay um so please let me know in the comments exactly what you want me to try I'm doing it for the viewers um for my uh, fourth hour world history class if you guys are watching it I'm here and I just ate a burrito supreme um and one last word to Taco Bell I think you guys did an amazing job with your Burrito Supreme. It seems to have um, held the test of time. It has stayed solid. It was a very moist burrito, which I appreciate. Dry burritos did not make the cut in any way, shape, or form. So I am uh, very glad that you were able to create a burrito that was so fulfilling. And also, it's uh, in my price range, which is probably under $5 is where I'm going to keep it there. So, um... Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with whatever I decide to post. Might be another food review. Uh, could be, uh, I don't know. I post anything I want to on this channel. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and whoops.